Hey, what's happening? Paul Ingram with Collie Center. I got five essential Collie sword stick fighting drills, exercises that you need to know. So hit the thumbs up button, click that little bell notification there, click the subscribe button, and let's get training. Striker one and two are down the X. One and two down the X is the first drill. Central drill number two. We call this the upper eight or figure eight. And we're just going to be striking. We call it angle three and then angle four. Forehand three, backhand four. Make a big eight. All right, third essential collie sword fighting, stick fighting drill. I want you to imagine a big plus. There's two ways to do this one. We can go horizontal into the vertical. Now the second variation of this particular drill is we can go vertical to the horizontal. It's essentially the same thing. You can double up on the verticals. You can change the elevation of the horizontals. Go high. Go middle. Go low to the knee. Okay. You can change it up. Double it up on the verticals. Bob, bob, bob. Hey, I want you to get outside. Get to an environment like this, whether it's hot, whether it's cold, sunny, cloudy, rainy, snowy, humid, dry, whatever your conditions are. Get outside. This is my dojo. This is where I love to train the most. It's anywhere outside. All right? If you have a favorite place that you like to train, Tell me in the comments below. What's your favorite natural environment? Is it the forest? Is it the desert? The mountains? The ocean? The beach? Where's your favorite natural destination to train? Where's your dojo? All right, the fourth essential Kali sword fighting, stick fighting drill you need to know is thrusts. So we're gonna thrust on the center line, thrust on the backhand, thrust on the forehand. All right, and just recover that with a little slash. All right, just work this thrust. One, two, three. Center line, backhand, forehand. Right, you can kind of just poke them out as well. Or you can go all the way through. Just poke. Mix it up. The fifth essential collie sword fighting, stick fighting drill or exercise that you need to know is with teaks, or some people, some styles would call this abanico. Right? Different styles and different systems will have different terminologies, but it's all the same. So we have high with teaks or abanicos. We can also do these low. We can do these high to low. And we can also work them low to high. These are the four basic combinations. Once you have all five of these drills, what I want you to work on then is blend them into one mega flow, or we, what we call Carenza, or sometimes we call it Saya. It's just a free flow that you get to do, and just work it out through all these different five exercises. And now, you're gonna start off working that flow.
All right, there you got it. Five essential Kali sword fighting, stick fighting exercises. You gotta work these out. Get these smooth. Get each individual exercise smooth. Do rounds, just isolating each one. Then work on the transitions, make them seamless. All right, make them seamless. Blend them all together. And uh, have fun with this one. Get outside, I'm serious. Get outside to a place like this. It changes the mindset. It changes how the body has to respond. Right, it changes everything about your collie and it's gonna pull out a different animal out of your training. All right, I'll see you next time here at Collie Center. Make sure to give me a thumbs up. Comment below, what's your favorite environment to train? Where do you like to go out and train in natural environments under natural conditions? And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Check out Collie Center University over at colliecenter.com. I'll see you guys next time.